Um, talking about Vision Zero, I've been thinking about this a lot, and I think that one of the things that I want to do going forward when we have projects before us is really call out and request that the district supervisors speak up in support of projects that aren't in their district. Because we are so cautious to not step on the toes of a district supervisor and push a project ahead over their kind of best wishes over removing parking, over you know doing whatever. So I think we really need to um, we really need to call. The, uh, there's a few projects that come to mind that were sort of either watered down or even just canceled due to lack of supervisor support in that district. Polk Street, which isn't the project that it should be in the middle reaches of Polk, because the supervisors, two supervisors in that district, sequentially just wouldn't support a great project. The Eighth Ave neighborway that basically got watered down to the point of it almost became a why bother. Um, Sixth Street, as we talked about, Sixth Street got completely watered down. Um, and then Broadway Safety Project, a public commenter mentioned that I feel like it's kind of been delayed sort of indefinitely. Um, we've been too nice. We have supervisors who stand on the steps of City Hall and affirm their support of Vision Zero, but when push comes to shove, not only might they not support a project in their district, but they won't speak up in support of a project in another supervisor's district. And I remember with Polk Street, calling supervisors and specifically asking them to speak up in support of Polk Street because their constituents use Polk Street. It's not just that district supervisor who travels the length of that corridor. So I pledge going forward that I'm going to be making a lot more noise about not just the supervisor in whose district the project is, but asking other supervisors why they're not supporting those projects. If they believe in Vision Zero, if we all believe that we can get to Vision Zero, we have to call on supervisors to support citywide Vision Zero and citywide changes. So there was no question in there. That was just a statement. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate your candor. 